The Committee on Commission, State Territorial Thought and State Enterprises adjourned prematurely after it discovered that account loans and advances transferred to DFCO during the sale of Crane Bank were duplicated. The committee chaired by the Bugwari MP Abdul Katun to told officials that there was new evidence on how Bank of Uganda duplicated account loans. Officials from Bank of Uganda were led by the governor, Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebile. I denoted with the auditors from the CD governor that there is a lot of duplication of accounts, account loans and advances which were transferred to DFCU from that CD. There is a lot of duplication of the account. Yes. This report, which you referred us to, have had the opportunity to read it. It does not answer that. I, I, what is your view? Bank of Uganda also failed to present documents of accountability of shillings 478 billion injected into Crane Bank. Impairment of amount due from Crane Bank Limited in receivership. What is not in doubt is that Bank of Uganda actually pumped in 470. 8 billion. That is not in doubt. What we would like to satisfy ourselves, though, is at the tail end in Crane Bank, was this money utilized in accordance with the purpose for which it had been remitted? Bank of Uganda officials have been tasked to present supporting documents showing loan classification schedules as for 2016-17, inventory reports, Crane Bank liquidation costs, and the handover report of Director Commercial Banking at that time. I've been discussing this with the auditors. They need a few documents to have a clarification, which documents we need by the close of business today. The Auditor General has been asked to carry out a forensic audit of Bank of Uganda to ascertain how the $478 billion was appropriated. Crane Bank was closed in 2016 on account of insolvency. Susan Naonga reporting.